Okay, fifth grade, lesson 109, and this is on multiplying decimal numbers. Um, Eli, you pretty much know this one. Um, I've taught it to you, but let's just, it's going to kind of be a review, okay? Now, um, we're going to put, since you're learning about multiplying decimal numbers, okay, I'm going to show you adding and subtracting because this is probably the hardest thing decimal numbers to remember okay is the difference because you do two separate things when you're adding and subtracting decimals you do something and when you're multiplying decimals you do numbers you do something okay, okay. so let's kind of review just this one really quick so let's say I had 4.5 um, and 3 5.8. Do you remember if I wanted to add or subtract these, what's the most important rule to remember when you're working with decimal numbers? Do you remember? Line up the decimals. You do. You line up the decimals. So I would end up doing 35.8 and then 4.5. So you see here, I would line up my decimal. That's very important to do when you're adding or subtracting. So if I was subtracting, I would work it like normal, like we normally do, and then bring down my decimal. If I was adding, we would work it like normal and bring down my decimal, and that's our answer. Okay. okay? But with multipl multiplying and, uh, well, when we're work multiplying decimal numbers, you are not trying to line up the decimals. Okay? okay? That's the most important thing you can remember is that you don't do the same rule. Okay? And a lot of people get confused, and they end up lining up the decimal number, and they end up getting it wrong because of that. Okay? So you don't line it up in you multiplication? You don't. You just... Um, write the problem out. For example, if I had this number, 0.12, and I multiplied, if I wanted to multiply that by 6, well, we know that 6 is really 6 point because there's always a decimal at the end of a number whether you can see it or not. Right? Okay. You remember that rule? Okay. Now, so when I work this problem, I'm going to work it like this. Okay, I am not lining up my decimals. If this was an adding and subtraction problem, we would go 0 0.12 and 6 point, and then we would fill those in with 0, 0. Okay, so if this said plus or minus, that's what we would do with it. Okay. And we would plus or minus, whichever we would do. But because we're working with decimal numbers, you just write the numbers just as they are. Okay, now... We're going to work the problem, so let me go in and just multiply. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. And then 6 times 0 is 0. Okay? Now, this the most important thing that you can remember when you're multiplying decimal numbers is you're going to count after the decimal how many spots there are. 1, 2. Are there any after this one? No. No, because if there was a decimal number, which there always is one even if you can't see it, is there anything after that? No. no. So you go 1, 2, and so you start from the right of the number and go 1, 2. So there's going to be 1, 2 spaces, and you'll put a decimal right there. See how I did that? Yeah. So even though it looks like I just bolt pulled it down, I really didn't. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's say this said 0.6, okay, for example... We would get the same answer, 7, 2 down here, because 6 times 2 is 12. We carry the 1, still get a 7, 6 times 0 is 0. Okay, but what would make it different is, not only do I have two spots after the decimal, I also have this spot. So how many spots after the decimals do I have? Uh, 1, 2, 3. So it would be... So I would start from here and go 1, It'd just be two, the 1 at the... 3. Yeah. So that would be my answer. See how you do that? Uh -huh. So it's totally different. And that's the most important thing you can remember is that it is totally different. So you really have to recognize that. Okay. Okay, those are important things. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, I'm going to erase this adding and subtracting and just work with the, the multiplying. Okay? Do you divide? Well, dividing for um, decimal numbers is totally different. We'll do that another day. Okay. Okay? So multiplying, let's try this one. You help me with it, okay? It says they want me to multiply 25 times 0 0.3. That's the problem. So 
25. This, if we were doing, it has a decimal after it, right? But you don't have to put that there unless we were working with adding or subtracting times 0 0.3. So you're pretty much just lining them up just like you just however you write it, okay? So 25 times 0 0.3, you're just going to line up the numbers pretty much, mm -hmm. okay? So now 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. Good. But we're not done yet. We finished this number. Now let's work with this one. 0 times 5 is 0, zero and zero, 0 times 2 is 0. Now, a lot of times we fill in this space because you like to. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. Then let's bring everything down. And before the 7, right? Very good. Yeah, you could, yeah. Okay. Okay, so then we would add those up and get 0, 7, 5. Okay, but that's not the final answer. Okay, how many spots are there after this decimal? One. One. Are there any decimals up here? Yes, but it's at the end, so there's nothing after that. So we just have one spot. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to start from the right and go one spot over. So my final answer is 0, 07.5. And we could even take off that. Because remember, Seven before point zeros five. and after zeros are all terminal. They can go away. You got it? Yeah. I want you to try one by yourself. Okay. Okay. 0 0.15 times 0 0.9. 0, 1 0 0.15 times 0 0.9. Times, so I wouldn't line up. Okay, I would just line up your numbers. Okay, so this is what it would look like. Times I think I did it right. Zero yeah, that's what I did. Nine. You just want to pretend like the decimal's not there. And how you would set it up and then put the decimals in. Yeah. Oh, I did it wrong. No, you did it. You did all those right, and you got that, and now you're doing the zero. Which oh, is just okay, gonna be, I did the three yeah. instead. That's cool. No, you're working, well, you did the nine, and you so got that that's answer. five's wrong, right? Yeah. Okay. Good job, you got it. Very good. Yep. Okay. Perfect. You got it. Do I add those? Go ahead and finish it up, yep. Three. And then I count. Uh -huh. Two, three. Perfect. He got it exactly right. So let's do this together. Nine times five is 45. Nine times one is nine plus four more is 13. And nine plus zero, nine from zero, zero. Okay? And then zero times five, we can go in and fill these out if you wanted to. That helps you. Okay? And then let's go in and bring these down. We're actually adding them. Okay, and now we want to fix our decimal, so we go one, two, three. There are three spots after the decimal, so that's exactly what we do. We go from here and go one, two, three. You should have gotten point one three five. Excellent job. Okay, you feel like you understand? Yes. Okay, now let's do real quick because some of your problems may look like this. Do you remember how to make that into a decimal? So, we would have to do, like, the decimal, like, spots yes. where they belong, yes. and then... Okay, so, you see this 10? That's a very good thing to yeah. see. Because and if we have a 10, a 100, a 1,000, and many, many, many more zeros, we can easily write a decimal number. Mm -hmm. So, watch what I do. Because my decimal number, this says 10, the first spot after the decimal is 10th. Tenth. Tenth. Remember that? Five. Ten, yeah. hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, so, millions. It keeps going on and on and on. Are we doing tenths? Okay, or because tens? this is tenth. No, the one on the bottom is tenth with the THSs. Okay. Okay, so this says three tenths. So we're just going to take so the tenth make it, spot. It'd be point, three point zero. three zero. Just point three. Oh. We put that into that spot. And it'd be. 
uh, 0 0.03 if the if it was this one. Yeah. So if this was like this, 3 to 100, then we would go tenths, 100, and we want the 3 over the 100. And then we would just fill that in with 0. You ever had to do that? That was mm -hmm. a long time ago. But I just wanted to quickly review that, okay? Yeah. So if they tell you something like this, 3 tenths times 3 tenths, they're really asking you to do 0.3 times 0.3. Because this is the tenth spot, remember? Yeah. I'm just showing you that real quick, just to kind of review. Okay? Feel like you got it? Yes. Okay. That is lesson 109.